Hello. Hi. I'm Alicia. Marissa. And this is Bookends Knits. No. Okay. <laughs> A podcast of knitting, reading, and general nerdery. Welcome. Hello. If you're new to the show, welcome. If you're coming back, hi guys. How you doing? How are you doing, boo boo? <laughs> Thanks for coming back. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happened last? The uh, past two weeks. Past two weeks. We've been away. I went to a football game for the first time ever. You're such a big kid. I know. I was wearing one of my kids' jersey. Why? I don't. I never understood that tradition. It's like an honor. They pick you as someone of influence in their life, and yeah. you wear their jersey the whole school day. Were you drowning? Oh, those jersey. things are tight. Why are they tight? I was. Oh man. And we were like, there was a bunch of us from my academy, mm. and so we all had to, like all the girls are like, oh, this is snug. We thought they were going to be much bigger. I was like, wear it with leggings. Like, oh, you thought you were going to be able to be like basic. We thought we were going to be able to be basic, but we're all like, no, nah, no, nah, this is a sausage fest. Like, we looked like we were encased. Oh, <laughs> I was like, like it really? Was, it was a tight fit. And so, like, we all go home after getting these jerseys, and we're all like, how are we going to wear this? And I figured it out. I did mine with a, I tucked mine into a pencil skirt. I look cute. Put my black cardigan on. I looked real good. And then I put my, my red lipstick on. Went rolled up to school the next day. Did you ever feel like singing We Are the Titans? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. <laughs> I would have enjoyed it. I would, we're not Titans. I would. I like that song where they We're the Titans. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love that movie. And uh, no, so like, I went to the game and all the kids, like, even not like even the ones that weren't the fo- were football players like they were up in the student section they were super pumped to see me at the game and they were really loud about it. Do they have a loud crowd? Yeah, it's just called the student section. Oh, where the kids sit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so I was just wearing the jersey and I got to stand on the sidelines near the action. They got real close. I got real close, that. but I left after halftime. Because like it was like nine thirty and I was like, Oh, it's bedtime and Ugo <laughs> Poor Puppers. Poor Plops. Poor pu- he was so angry for like ten minutes. And then he fell asleep. It's a long Just a time ang- for him. It's a long time for him. Usually he lasts like five. Usually he's like <laughs> for like five minutes. It sounds like a wee He does. It's, <laughs> he does though. And he's like I was like, Yes, you're so angry and we talk about his anger and then he'll tell me why he's angry and then he'll go sleep. But this time he lasted for 10 minutes, and then he got so tired being angry, he just went to sleep. Because we didn't even have our conversation about why he was angry. Oh, poor Ugo. Poor, poor pup. He's at Grandpa's today. Price. I love, I miss him. We had a long weekend, though. We did not end up going to Stitches. Yeah, we did not go to Stitches. The weather was, was like, really, it was going to rain. It was really weird. Like we woke up and it was super humid. It and said it was gonna rain. It said it was gonna so, rain, and so I was like, I don't, I don't want to drive three hours. And also, rain. some stuff came up at work yeah. that I needed to get done. So. Yeah. So we didn't end up going, but we decided to go on like a mini crawl for ourselves and scope out the location and scope out a couple of the locations and see if they would tell and us anything. And see if they would drop some like hints. Because Carly, don't Carly. tell me anything. Carly. She likes to keep. Carly things. likes to keep things under wraps. Carly likes it to be a secret. And Carly's one of the Carly's one of the owners, owners of, of Gage, Gage. One of, like one mine. of our Marissa's local yarn store, Mines Hill Country. We okay. should have gone there too. We should have dropped some hits. Melissa, you gonna tell me what you guys are getting? Right. Anyway, so we ended up going to three. We went, three? We went to three different like towns, and they're like they're like within an hour of Austin, so it's not hard. And I live in. South Austin, so it was only 45 minutes so the farthest away. So it was only 45 away. minutes was the farthest we drove to that. So yesterday. it was, this is how we went. We went from the farthest back in. Yeah. So we went New Braunfels, Wimberley, Dripping Springs. And then we came back home. And we came home. And we were done by 2. We were done by 2. We were two. done by 2. We started, we started in the morning. We started at, like, we left at like 8. Went to the mail, we went to the <laughs> post office. Because we were like sending out prizes. Sorry right, guys. Giveaway prizes. But we did it, they're in the mail. They're in the mail. They're coming. Should be there this week. Something like that. Something like that. I filled out my first customs form thing. Because oh. one of our winners was from Portugal. Yeah. That's so exciting. Asterera. 
Did I say it right? She said we said we said it right in the first one. Wait, did we? Yeah, she left a comment. She's like, you said it right, it's fine. <laughs> and then she broke it down. And I was like, that's such a pretty name. That is. We're like Osteray. Osteray. Yeah, I don't know. That's how I, I said Osteray. Anyway. anyway. Oh, yeah. It's oh. coming. And Skinanigans was actually Melissa. She actually wanted to forward that on to Hannah. Hannah. One of her friends who is a Jane Austen fan and recently, recently married, married so. and loves yellow. Yay. Hi, Hannah! And, <laughs> and Melissa. Melissa. Um, Good friends. Yeah. It was so cute. So I wrote, we both wrote little notes, so. So they'll be coming in the mail soon. I, I don't know when Portugal's gonna. It said, they said like seven to ten days. Oh, fantastic. No more than two weeks. That's what they told me. We had a nice post lady. Oh, the post lady was wonderful. She was so gentle with me. She's like, have you done this before? And I was like, no, no it's my first time. She's like, let me walk you through it. And she was so good. She was so good. She put a bullet next to all the things you needed to fill out. Yup. Fantastic. It was, it went so smooth. So shout out to post office lady. Yes, you were fantastic and so kind. You're such a magician. Anyway, should we get to the yarn? We kind of been talking a little bit about the yarn. So, so we did. Go we on did a, go on a mini crawl, and to, they told us things. And they told us things, but we're gonna keep it. <laughs> we're gonna keep it quiet. Yeah, because we don't want anyone else to know the things. Let's just say those are gonna be first stops, right? First off, they're super close to my house. So, so I my, think we are gonna. Are we gonna go to Seguin? That we're not going to San Antonio. We're not. Gonna, we're gonna skip San Antonio because. As far. I can't handle it. gives me so much, such bad anxiety to drive in San Antonio. We might go the second week. Maybe. Depending yeah, the second on, weekend, depending on where we are in our lives at that point. Mm -hmm. I took both weekends off. Oh, did you? From work. Okay. But, yeah. And I know the day one, that Friday, I want to hit six stores. At least six, if not more. I don't know if I'll be able to take off that Friday, depending on what needs to be done. But we'll find out in two weeks. In a week. Said. I'm gonna try. You I'm gonna see how much, how many hours I have. We're gonna see. Anyway, so yeah. So yesterday was a lot of fun. We took one of our friends who wants to learn, and we we took her to the yarn stores, and she got to see the yarn and she buy kind a lot. of what's it about. She did buy a lot her first time out. We're all like. She's a crocheter. She's a crocheter. We, but, we taught her that in college. Mm -hmm. She's like, I want to learn knitting. And so we're like, okay. And we just talked about the yarn. And she like independently bought yarn. And she, we, we helped. She, we like, guided her. And we got her. We, we, we set her up right. Yeah. And the shop, all the shop ladies were so helpful. They were and so, so good sweet. with her. It was great. But yeah. Okay. And then we just came home and we taught her. And she took to it like water. It was insane. Like, there's no bumps. Like, literally, I was just all like, so here's, like, I helped her cast You helped her cast on, and then. But I can't teach her, because so, my, I do weird things. Yeah, I'm just a weird thing. I knit weird. We all know. Everyone has their kink. But anyway, so <laughs> I knit. <laughs> Quirk, sorry. Quirk. I was like, not a kink. <laughs> Everyone has their kink. I knit continental, I pearl. English. English. Which that would have confused her. Yeah. But anyway, so I knit and pearl continental because I'm left-handed. So I was the one that ended up teaching her. And it went well. It did. Because I'm, I'm good at modeling. You know, I'm a teacher. And I mean, like, she's an easy student. She's a, yeah, she is. She she just wants to learn and she can, she's she picks it up very she. quickly. And so you just give, and like, it's kind of the same, like, you show that, like, you show them, we do it together, and then they do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. It's called graduate. She wanted to learn both both stitches. Yeah, both knit and pearl, because it might as well. So she's doing a stockinette swatch. watch. Like, I'm going to block it out, probably. We're going to block it and talk about it. And she was like, all right, I don't like how the edges look. Because that first stitch, you know how that looks sometimes. Without slipping it, yeah. Without slipping. So we, we've talked about that, like, next time. But, yeah. but she's already, stuff. she got like six skeins of yarn. So, yeah. She was so cute So once she gets that done, we'll have to introduce her to knitting in the round. We were talking about, she has straightened needles already. 
from a previous craft store trip. Yeah. But yeah, and so. acrylic yarn. Yeah, Which but, she, but, when we got to her house, she had made it. <laughs> she had. She's like, I tried to knit yesterday by myself, and, and like, I couldn't. And I didn't like it, so I ripped it all out. And then just left it in and the bowl. Just left it in the bowl. Slot. It, so yeah, terrible thing. I say. didn't think she was going to be buying yarn yesterday. Oh yeah. So I rewound. untangled it and rewound it. <laughs> yeah. And it put it back in a ball. But yeah. But anyway. But she found. But she discovered the. She found the good yarn all by herself. She's like, I like this yarn, and it's Mad Tosh. And I was like, Good job. And she's like, I like. And Malabrigo. It's pretty. And it was Malabrigo, and I was like, Good. And then she's like, And this one, and it was Hedgehog, and I was just like, You. You good, you good girl. We got you. We're one of our people. She tried the acrylic, did not like the Did feel. not like the acrylic. And I was like, good job. She's like, I don't like acrylic. It's not nice. And we're like, good, good. And there's We're like, it has its place. It has its place. And there's a time and a place for everything. Okay. Baby but, yeah. blankets. Baby, baby blankets. No. Dog clothes. Dog clothes. Yes, dog clothes, definitely. Keep you warm. But anyway, do we want to do our Watch Me Whip? I have an info. Well, we're going to do whip. Oh, we're going to whip. We're going to whip. We're going to whip. Wait, do I show um, Do I show my hoe? I mean, it's part of your whip. So yeah! You want to do the hoe later? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want? In the in-between? Mm -hmm. Or acquisition? There you do, go. It at the end. do it at the end. Do it at the end. All right, so... You go first or you go? You go. Alright. This is a sock. <laughs> or part of one. Anyway, so this is the Homegrown Sock by Jess Gore. I'm in her test knit group. She did say we could... Of the... In, what's her Instagram Oh, wool. The wool collective. Wool collective. Wool collective, yeah. She, no, she's a sweater collective. She's a sweater collective. Oh, they're both collective in Australia. someone else. Yes, I think they're both in Australia. That's why I get them confused. But it's so pretty. Oh, this one shows so much better than the gray one. Yeah, it does show better. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Look at it. It's so pretty, and I love it. It looks so good. This is the yarn is one of our faves. It's Sweet Sparrow Yarn. From Julie. From Julie, and it's a uh, robin's egg, obviously, because it's really cute. And I'm doing these on US ones. I did get gauge and I'm making the biggest size. I've. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm sensitive. I'm making the biggest size. <laughs> I'm sensitive. And the toes rounded. Which is so hard for you. It is. And it's doing real good. And I'm really proud of it. And I showed you guys the gray ones that I'm making last week. This was one I thought I had messed up on, but I didn't. So I went back and checked it and I was right so we keep on keeping on this is just the first one though this is for me <laughs> so cute and pretty anyway so yeah that's what I got and you want me to go next? mm-hmm okay what? so I showed this last time and it's made a little bit of progress but not a lot of progress and I mean it's Jessie's girl again I love this yarn so much I like, like, the blues are really pretty on it, too. Oh, yeah, that's kind of like a denim blue. Yeah. And that white, the natural color. I'm going to get this yarn again because it's just, like, it makes a nice shawl. It's super squishy, and it's, like, you get a lot, but very little. So I really like it. I just need to work on it. Like, I need to actually like, find time to sit down and do it. But, yeah, so that's happening. That's still going strong. I've knit, like, what, five rows on it since... Last week? Last, uh, last week. two last, last two weeks. weeks. But it'll be done before you hope. Before the winter, you hope. No, it's gonna be done. Oh, okay. My other whip that I picked up the other day. Oh, after a long hiatus. My baby pine. It's not baby. He's a big boy. He's a big inch. We are working through our issues. Which was just mindless, mindless talking it. I've decided, oh, this is my book reading, my book knitting. Oh, when you audiobook? Mm hmm. Wow. And again, Pine. Recipe is by Karen Templer. Really great. It's basically based off of Elizabeth Zimmerman's, but the instructions are a little bit more clear. 
Elizabeth Zimmerman talks a bit more conversation, like her writing voice is a bit more conversational, which I need instructional. Yeah, especially the first time out. Yeah. I think like it was that, just so different back back, back then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it's really helpful. I've done that, too. Um, I just found these instructions a bit more... Concrete. Concrete for me. Exactly. Like, it was just easier for me to understand. Anyway. I did the math. Yeah. But it's coming out really pretty. It is, and it fits really well. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. And this is in Hedgehog Fiber Sock in their pine color. So pretty. Here, be jealous, be jealous. I had one in teacup, but poor Bertha. Mm. You were mad. I was so mad. She was almost done. Like you only had like what three more inches to go, and then she tried it on. It was like, Phew. and I have that problem. She oversizes. Or I, over, over. Like, I like things oversized. But, but doesn't like, realize I'm, how much ease. But I don't realize how much ease I'm actually putting in. So I'm like, oh, I'll just put in, like, what? 10 inches of ease? Like, 12, 13 inches of ease? And you didn't, like, and then I, and then like put that in the shoulder. You, put, but you I, calculate I put it in the shoulders. I put it in the shoulders as well as in the... And I could have just, like, made the shoulders where I wanted them. And... Then just increase the body to make it a line to make it an a line. It would have been really cute, but, but I didn't think about that when I was making it. And I was so the one who just, did the math for this for Marissa's. Yeah, and I had to figure out my sleeves and stuff because she wasn't helping on that. They're I'm perfect, confused. by the I'm way. Like, I already did it. I can do that. Anyway, I just don't. So it's, that yarn will be repurposed soon. She was real mad about it. Like I like what was it? Did I, I have to rip it out? No, no. I, I had to up. watch. I had I hooked it up to the ball winder. And I just she was angry, oh, angry. Was I did it like at nine o'clock at night when I had three inches left, and I was like, I could power through this and just be done, and then only have to do the sleeves, and then like it didn't fit. I I was the, the way one. I she was mad at me because I suggested her trying it on. Because I could have just lived my life with a huge oversized sweater that and you neck, never. The neck was weird. I mean, the neck was coming. It was like the Paulina fiasco. You remember that? No, I don't think we talked about that. Let's not. That was more painful. Because that sweater's done. That was done and blocked by yours truly. And then she's like, I think it's too big. I tried it on. I was like, this is falling off. Like, literally, I put it on. It fell off my body. To the floor. And it's because I, like, I got she gauge. Got, she did get gauge. She, in a sport way. In a sport, but it was, yeah, I got gauge in a sport way. No, that doesn't make sense. You no, didn't no. get gauge, but you didn't. I didn't size down. Yeah. Like I should have. Because, like, I wasn't thinking about it as a sport weight because sport weight and fingering weight are, were so similar. Like, were so Work similar. in your brain. To me back then. And now I'm just like, no, it's way different. It's way different. Not the same. So you live and you learn. You did good. And then she made the mistake on the other one. You just really like oversized things and you don't remember that, hey, I can add this in later. Yeah. It's very interesting. But I love those patterns. They're great. What good patterns? So good patterns. Anyway. Hi. But anyway. anyway. So the sadness. Thing, <laughs> sad, sad, anyway. <laughs> like, all of my, like, I have so many successes. So the failures hurt worse. So the failures are so much worse to me. Um, what is this? Oh, that's so right. So, I have a friend at work, and she was like, can you make me a Katniss cowl that she wears at the Capitol? And I was like... There's a pattern. I was like, I'll teach you how to make it. Um, and so, she bought the yarn and every in the pattern, and then it, she didn't want to make it. And so, I was like, fine, I'll make it. Guess who doesn't like Katniss? I don't like Hunger Games. It's like a personal thing. Like I am. Well, I mean, preferences are personal. We'll talk yeah. about that later. But like, Hunger I feel like. <laughs> Just the anger. So making this is like painful. Just because it's called like Katniss Cowl, and I'm just like, if it was called anything, any like. Almost, if it had no, if its name was like of no relation to the books, like 
capital cow. You would have been fine. I would have been fine. But now it's like the Katniss cow. And I'm just like. How's the pattern written? It's okay. It's row by row, but now I'm at the part where I just knit back and forth and I'm just all like. So, here it is. This is the body. So this is knit in two pieces. So you knit the body first, and then you knit the cowl, and then you kind of sew them together, or attach, oh. or pick them up and sew it, and knit it. Um, but yeah, so this is the body, and it's. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think it's like, it's this is like the part that you sew together. Like yeah, you knit it, and it goes around, and it gets. This will be big. And it goes around and then oh. you attach it to this end. And then you pick up or you can knit the cowl and then sew it together. Whichever way you would like to do it in the pattern. She's not happy with it. So we're going to move on. Because you just sighed a whole bunch in there. You just... We're going to leave it alone. I'm just... She's over it. Hunger and, Games is not my... And that's okay. Thing. But you love that one if guy. If you're curious. Hmm. Like, I was just, I sit there and I'm angry at all now. Anyway. I have. <laughs> I'm working on the other second sock, guys. It's the same gray one. This is, again, these are shorties for Ma. For Ma. For Ma. Because she asked, can I have it? How do you like the Haya Hayas? They hurt me. This is because you use your finger. I use my finger to push off. We talked briefly about this last time. Yeah. So they hurt me. They actually, I like them for this kind of yarn because I find Hedgehog a little splitty. Then the, they're new. Okay, so they switched mills. A while ago. A while ago. Like, so most people like only have the new stuff. So most people only have the new stuff. I have some of the old base. It's so, like smooshy. It has a bit more halo. This is a bit tighter spun. However... Both does have bases, like a, they have the same split ratio. Yeah. I don't know if it's just how Once, I knit. I feel like the old base is a little softer. bit. It's softer, and so it doesn't split as much because it does have that halo, and so it does kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But they're both super wash. I like them. Really I do. Nice. I'm not complaining. The colors alone are beautiful. The yarn itself knits up in a really kind of interesting, and not soft. soft, but soft. It's very sturdy soft. It's really sturdy. Um, so I'm not complaining. I just, it's a little bit splittier. I love this yarn though. You'll always knit with Hedgehog. Always. I have so much in my stash, I will never not knit with Hedgehog. I do too. I have like sweater quantities. And I'm so picky about the colors. I have ten balls of a potluck colorway. That's right, you do. You're welcome for that Because you just info. took mine. Mm -hmm. You know I'm making? I might crochet something. Because I have enough to do that. You should just like do that bias blanket. I was thinking about it. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to pair it with an electric purple. It's because there's so much purple in it. I love it. It's so pretty. Um, anyway. <laughs> Go on. I, I swindled it. I swindled it out of it. I swindled it out of it. Actually, I gave like her you. some NCN. And I was like, what I, did you give me? I gave you uh, the Yarn Yarn Co. Sakura colorway. Ah, it has peony. Yeah, oh, peony. Sorry, not Sakura. Why do I keep thinking Sakura? Why do I keep thinking it's Sakura? Anyway. It's pretty. It's soft. She wanted it. I had it. Because it was pretty and it's pink and I love pink. And soft. And I was like, just go in my color box and you can pick out a yarn. I found two. I really don't. I really don't use color. Like, I use, like, light colors. I don't really. I don't wear a lot of color. I like knitting with it. Yeah, I like knitting with color. But, like, now I'm, like, getting the point where I'm just like, I just want pink. And, like, soft, like, pastel mobs colors and, and stuff. And and Crap. That's fine. I know. It's where life goes. Anyway, so this is my. This is what I've been working on the most these past two weeks. Cause it's really just been a week. Yeah, it's only been a week because we went last week. Because we went last week. So 
This is another pure joy, but you'll notice it's just one color. You know what this was for? Ma. For Ma. Hi, Ma. Ma. Does she want? She want. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, it's a Christmas present, so she can't have it until Christmas. But this. She can. She doesn't know about it. I know. She might if she watches it, but otherwise I don't, I don't think, think she, will. she actually watches it. But anyway, it's Pure Joy from Hohi Lucatelli. One color. It's one color. So I've just. I don't like to purl, so I'm knitting across that purl row. I'm knit two. The knit two. Looks good. It looks good. It looks the exact same. It's just on a different side. So I'll, it really doesn't matter what side. But yeah, I'm having a great time with this. And this is Camilla Fiber Company. Uh, flax base, mm -hmm. and this color is called sea spray. Yeah, sea spray. Right. So this is linen and alpaca and silk. It's beautiful. It's like that base. Like and it all has about a that beautiful base. shine, and it has a halo from the alpaca, but it's still a little rustic with the flax. So it makes her happy. So it's just like a, it's lightweight. But it's still warm. So it's a good, like, it's a good transitional piece from, like, spring to summer. Summer to summer fall. Summer to fall. Mom wears all the gray winter. and black. Mom wears all gray and black. She likes blue. She looks good in blue. She looks good in blue. She has, she's a silver fox with her white hair. Totally really pretty. And I'm almost done. I'm on, like, the fourth wedge. Good job. Are you going to have extra? Because the extra goes to me. Yeah, if I have extra. I'll if you don't break it, I'll give you a little leftover. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, and I've been, I've been keeping it in my, my, my one of a kind bag. Yeah. And this is, like, I'm on the fourth wedge and this is how much I have left. And I haven't weighed it, so I don't know for sure. The yardage in it's really good. The yardage in this is really good. It's like 425. 25 yards? Mm -hmm. No, 35 yards. 35. 35 yards. 435. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful yarn. And it's a beautiful dye job. And I love how it's coming out. It looks so good. This is a good pattern for it, too. It is. Yeah, so that's what I've been working on mostly because it's just, like, literally easy. Like, once I knit across that, once I do the, the, the eyelet row, it's just, yeah. it's just short rows. I'm just like, oh, really? School? Work? Wow. Yeah. But anyway, that's what I've been working on. Good job. I need to take out, get some of my whips and like do an evaluation on like if I'm going to finish them or not. And I have like a couple of things that are on the needles from a few months ago that I need to finish. Like I have like... You mean like the party on my needles, which is staring me in the eye? Yeah. Keeps looking at me like someone... Well, because I don't have the other two colors that I need. Or want. You don't need them. You want them. No, I don't want a solid... You don't want a shot, a, a shawl, a shawl, a solid <laughs> shawl, because it has two other colors. Oh, this is the one that does them. Yeah, it has like the ripple, oh. and then there's like a bind off color. Oh. So I don't have all the colors, so I might take it out and save that yarn for another shawl. So pretty. It is pretty. But I'll probably take it out and save that yarn for another shawl. But yeah. I have one and then more. I have, I have a sweater that needs sleeves. It has a body. And then I have a sweater that needs a body but no oh, sleeves. Oh, it's stupid. And then I have a one sweater that... I have a vest that needs a button band and no sleeves and needs to be, like, sewn under. Yeah. Like, on the on the shoulders. So it's like a... I'm going to tell you a secret about Alicia. She's hard. She doesn't finish. <laughs> I do. I finish a lot of things. You finish shawls. Like, Sweaters, it, okay. it requires two if sleeves. If she sits there for the amount of time she finished the shawl, she would have had a finished sweater. Yeah, because remember that one, the uh, Leslie pullover? So I made a Leslie pullover. It's almost done. What? It's almost done? <laughs> no, the Leslie pullover's done. Oh, that one. Never mind. Yeah. That one's done. Yeah. But so she had to sit there. I had to sit there. Like, one day I was just like fed up with like, I, I, like, I, fed up with, like, I had just taken out the teacup sweater. Yeah, you had. You were mad. And I was so mad. And so I was like, I need to feel productive. And so I got this. So I got my Leslie pullover, which was done. It just didn't have sleeves because it's a top down sweater. And she was discussing just picking up here and ribbing for 
like an I wanted inch like and a half. short sleeve sweater, but then I was like, no. Nah, I was like, you go big or you go home. So I just did them both, and I got one done in like I got one sleeve done in like two hours, and then the next one I popped out the, in the next two hours, and we went to bed at like one o'clock. They were done, and I wove in the ends the next day, and I was like, block this. So it's done. I'm a blocker girl. I don't mind it. I don't have space. And you have dog hair everywhere. I have white dog hair, but it's a white sweater. It's a beautiful sweater. I'll wear it this winter. But anyway, I do top-down sweaters, but I don't do the sleeves. Like I have. A, she has a problem with. Sleeves. I have a Lila pullover that I have the sleeve picked up. But remember, I had to take she out the sleeve. She picked it up wrong. I picked it up backwards. So she was knitting backwards. It didn't look any different. She it was just like, look. this doesn't feel right. And I put it. I was, I was trying. I was like, you're knitting backwards. Which I've done a lot. Which I can do. Like I can. Like I like. That's how I learned That's how it. sometimes I, I Yeah, because you watched me. I watched her from the correct from, angle. From, so from, I, from, 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 from across from me. And so she's like, oh, okay. And so she just did it back. Oh, it. Oh, it's so funny. It looks hella weird. It does when you do it. I don't do it, it often. It feels weird. I don't do it often anymore. Because I'm just like, oh, wait, this is going to be wrong. And if it's like a pearl, if it's like a long pearl row, I'll knit back. But now I know how to pearl con an angle, so it really doesn't. It kills her soul. <laughs> I think pearl. Now she kills her soul continentally. <laughs> I'm funny. Anyway, you're not. I am. So Should we move on to to the wall? I have burn? one more. Whip. Oh, you do. You, you forget about do. me. I forgot I, about that one because you were whining about it. I wasn't whining. Yeah, you were. We can be loud today. Ugo's not sleeping next to us. We're loud, anyways. Bolt, bolt, bolt. You guys? Oh, upside down. What are you doing? What is that? Oh, that's the top. I always wanted to do that. Anyway, this is The Rodin Cardigan by Michelle Wong from the newest Interweave magazine. Because when I saw it and realized I had enough to make the smaller size and there should be enough ease for me to fit comfortably, I had no chill. It didn't take you long. I knit this in a week. It's garters. Because I didn't have unfettered time. I was doing other things. <sighs> we'll talk about it when it's not so painful. <laughs> but I was mad at myself because my tail is relatively long. It's like a good foot. And I was like, oh, it, no, it's not. A, yeah. Oh, my God. It's long. You could have just, oh, dude, shh, shh, shh. Don't talk to me about it now. You I'll do it later. Spit spliced it. I could have, but I didn't. Do you know why? I'm lazy. <laughs> so on the last row, when I was about to bind mm. off, I realized I would not have enough because I had to knit one more row and then come back. My brain said, "Do what you gotta do." I got my other ball. <laughs> and you didn't think to? No, I did. I thought about. You could have woven in your end and then cut it off. No one cares about you. Okay. Okay. See, I'm super lazy. I wouldn't have gotten up to get another ball. <laughs> it was literally right there. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, cake me. <laughs> Do you ever talk to yourself when you're knitting? Cake me. Yeah, I cake you, girl. Anyway, found this off on Thursday night. She was like, oh, block it. No, I'm not blocking it yet. I'm waiting until I have all the pieces just in case I need to shorten something. <laughs> I'm not buying more yarn for this. It was in your stash. Mm-hmm. I'm getting rid of stash yarn, guys. I'm trying This to. is the Luzzolite colorway, which is the navy with, like, light teals in it. It's pretty. It's a tweed. Kind of. Yeah, no, it is. Whatever. It's pretty. Quarry is a good yarn. This is my... Some people be, be making, be crying. No, I found a piece where it's kind of thin, and I'm just like, I'm not going to deal with it right now. So what I, happens in any kind of yarn? There's a point of weakness in certain ones, especially like the the homespun looking ones. Not this like is a woolen line. spun. Yeah, I know. I don't like woolen spun. I love woolen spun. I'll deal with it for this cardigan because this is the yarn that was called for. And you and had I it. had it. And I'm not. <laughs> Am I happy with it? I'm happy with how it looks right now. I got, like, when I bound off and measured it's gonna it. It's going to block out big, too. Uh, yeah. So when ones tend to grow. Can I finish the sentence? Sorry. You can't. Don't touch me. I like the sweater. 
I know you do, you own it, it's yours. Anyway, so when I laid it out to measure it, I was like, I might have cut it a little short because I was just like, I don't want to use all my ball because I need to be conservative. It was knit to spec. <laughs> it was it's like perfect. I was like, 26 inches? It's a, this is a good swatch. This is a good, when they talk about swatch size, they mean this. <laughs> Like, need to hold him back. <laughs> knit the back. Like, what is it? I was reading. Or knit a sleeve. And Elizabeth Zimmerman, she's like, knit a sleeve. If the sleeve doesn't fit, make it into a hat. <laughs> I was like, girl, how big is your head? It's like a baby hat or a children's hat. Oh. You got the cap on it, so you got the back down. All that makes good sense. I was just like, what are you talking about? <laughs> it makes sense. It does make sense. So I'm knitting it, and I'm enjoying it, and I'm working on the right front right now. It's a cable lace pattern. So hard. I couldn't find my cable needles <laughs> till after the fact, right? So I was cabling without a cable needle. I had to like quickly Google it, refresh my memory, because it's like only one or two stitches per. I use a pen cap, because I'm a teacher, so I always have like a pen in my pocket. Who are you? So I would use a pen cap to hold the stitches in front or back. And then I would just knit them and then I would put them back on. So homeless. <laughs> so I cabled like four, no, I was, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on my fifth row. I don't have it with me today because I forgot it. Just be on it. So I forgot it. Um, and then like as I was getting ready for bed because it was like 11 at night. I got six rows done. I was like, perfect. Good way to stop. It's on a knit row. Stop there. I was sitting, like, I was putting it away for the night, and then I hear this tink, which is the sound of something falling from my piled up yarny desk. Do you know what? Tink. Off my desk. Your cable needle. My cable needles. <laughs> Your life is so hard. Who was not a happy camper after that? Who was very angry? <laughs> you went to bed at six. It did. <laughs> I was like, whoa! Fine, wow, man. Screw you. <laughs> screw I'm going you. to rent. <laughs> I'm right on. For real. <laughs> having that moment. You're yeah. having an anger moment. And you told me yes the next day. I was just like, like, guess what I found? I was like, your cable needle? How'd you know? <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, yeah. So, that's my life. Yeah. Are you ready to go into Those the are acquisitions? My so the wallet burn section. Actually, I have a hoe. Oh my we god. Have, I have a hoe. Hurry up. Hurry up. Here's a hoe. We're at 40 minutes. You'll live. We're almost to 40 minutes. This is my hoe. Why are you so many things? I knit a lot. Oh. This is my hoe. <laughs> I am her pimp. No. Look, isn't she pretty? These are for my. <laughs> <laughs> for my. This is the other gray one that I finished. She wanted shorties. Because when she said, can I have it? She also said, I want it this length. <laughs> oh, okay. So no one wears full length socks in Texas. It's hot here. Not as hot as Arizona. But we need to address this. Rafa, come hot. on over. Come over. You Don't on. come in the summer. Don't come in the summer. Come in like... Autumn. January. When it's cooler. Yes. It's not fun otherwise. It's so hot. And then, my F.O. We're not there yet. We gotta do the wallet burn. No, we do F.O.s before we wallet no, burn. No, we do wallet burn and the F.O.s. You do this every time. Fine, we'll do what she wants to do. What's what you your saying? wallet burn? My acquisitions, from which I have a lot. A lot. Okay, so we've been doing really well with this yarn diet thing. We've been like, I'm not gonna buy yarn until yarn crawl. I'm not gonna buy yarn until yarn crawl. I'm not gonna buy yarn until yarn crawl. And then, Hill Country. Hill Country? Weavers? My local yarn store? They be messing up my game. They be messing up my game. And apparently, we've been good of, at, we at have, avoiding them. We have. We've and been in the good. last two weeks where I needed something, we went there we because had, it was closer. Number one, it was close. The house. Number two, like, and we we hadn't been there in a while. We're like, maybe they got some new stuff and we can look. We can look. We'll and I buy needed, like, an $8 needle. We'll look. 
I was so mad. Like, we walk in, and I'm like... She's like, Marissa. And I was like, is that? And we're like, yes. And we move like the Sanderson sisters. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, like, freaking gremlins. And we're like, is that? We're like, is this real life? And then we were like, we turned to Connie, who's one of the shop ladies. We're like, Connie. Is this? She's like, it's Camilla. We're just like, I was like, Arr! <laughs> and we had no chill. And we needed baskets. We've never needed baskets before. Yeah, usually it's just like one or two, no more than three skeins. I've gotten four before of Hedgehog. I had a gift card. I didn't need a basket. We had to have a basket. Separate. We had two our separate own baskets. Basket. You have no idea how I feel about this. I feel deeply. You know how that one saying where like Hemingway is talking about writing? Where well, he says write deep. What is write it? hard and fast about what hurts. Yeah. That's how I feel about this story. It just hurts me. It's so, it's so painful. And I've been watching it and waiting for her to have an update. Trying to catch it, right? Trying to catch it's it. It's like a Pokemon. Catch them all. It hurts me. Yeah, it does. So we bought them. I bought four skeins of one colorway and then two <laughs> more like of you another. Did not buy four skeins. So lie. Trying to be good. I didn't bring them because I was only a little ashamed. But she has one of them. Oh. Like. So I bought seven. No, I bought one of the other ones. Yeah, I, bought I bought seven total. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I bought seven. Oh yeah, we both bought seven. That's yours. Yeah. I'll quit whining. Okay. So do you want to show yours? Show yours first. We just talked about it briefly. Yeah. So I bought one of these. Oh. For some reason I thought I was upside down, but it's only backwards. <laughs> it's only backwards. Like, it'll that, show up right, right. here. Yeah. Thing. Sorry. I was, only like, I was like, well, why is it upside down? It's not. Anyway, so this is Key Spray. Which it's is beautiful. what Mommy's shawl is made out of. Yeah. So we bought two skeins for safety's sake. It's, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. At least I already told you the fiber content. I'll remind you, it's 50% alpaca, 25 linen, 25 silk. It is the best. 435 yards. The bestest. And I also got this colorway and two more skeins and a sport weight, which is the 100% merino. Base, yeah. Yeah, merino base. It's pump. It's, it's very, and it's happy. It's so happy. I had no chill. Continue. <laughs> you need to go next because I look sad. <laughs> so, at least she likes gradients. No, I really don't. The thing is, I had just bought some shawl patterns for Melanie Berg. Because she had a sale. Because she had a sale. Buy one, get one. On her self published, pub published, published patterns. So, so when we went, we, we that both day, had to have four. We both, so me and yeah, me and you both had to have four to make so, ourselves happy. To make ourselves happy. So anyway, so we went to Hedge. No, no, we went to Hill Country, and they had these beautiful yarns. And most of Mel like the Melanie Bird shawls that I ended up buying, were three color shawls. So, I mean, so, you needed them. I needed, I needed them to make these shawls. So, and the lighting's really bad because we have this light because that, that light it's outside gloomy. is really bad. It's just, it's really it's dark. Gloomy. Anyway, so I'll show you. This is like a peach color. It's a, was it conch? Conch. Conch. And this is the flax base. These, these, these are in the flax base. This one's pulpo. And it's like, again, a mauve, a mauve, a mauve. I mean, that's your thing. That's my thing right now. Like I don't wear color, but oh, navy don't lie, mauve. you wear navy. That's the color. 
It's a white, neutral. Uh, I wear, my neutral. wardrobe is neutrals. Um, and then this is Stuka. And that's kind of like a blend of the two colors with some kind of blue tones like in it. Like a blue tone in it, yeah. It's pretty. And it's kind of striated. Love it. So pretty. So I'm going to knit a three color shawl out of these. Is it Ashburn that you were thinking? I don't know. Because there's Ashburn and then, oh, I'm going to do my Kryptonite in this. Which oh, is that's a right. newer one. So I think that'll be really pretty. That'd be pretty. And it's neutral enough that I can wear it with like my current wardrobe, which that's is true. my life. Do you want to show anything else? You want me to keep going? Keep going because I'm going to borrow your skein. Okay. Um, and then I bought the same colors in a different base. Just in case. Well, what'd you buy them so for? I, there's another shawl. Oh. There's going to be another shawl. The same colors, different base. They look different. And I'll just do a comparison real quick. They do look so, different. These are both pulpo. But this is 100% merino and a sport weight 325 yards. So you can see the color variance. All right, full bow. All right, so these are both conch. And these are similar, but this is definitely more peachy. The sport weight is definitely more of a, like a true peach. Mm -hmm. So pretty. This is almost like a light pink. This is like a light peachy pink. Mm. They're so, like, the sport weight is so round and huge. It's and growing. then this, these are both the Stuco. And you can, like, I like the Stuco and the sport weight a little bit better because you can see, like, it looks like a great wash, like a, a wash, like, like, like a really, sun-wash kind of deal. Yeah, it looks like it's been sun-washed and it was a really deep, rich color. This is more faded. This looks like sun bleach. Yeah, it looks bleached. There's a difference. Wow. Okay. I bought four of these. To make a sweater. To make a sweater. Because they're beautiful. And this is more true to color right here. Yeah. This is a little bit blown out. But yeah. It's so... They're so fluffy. And they're hand dyed, so... Support I small businesses. It's from Davidson County, Nashville. I know. Tennessee. I've been following for a I've long time. You can follow them And I want some of her hand spun. That Targine? The Targi? It's Targi. Targi. Yeah. I'm gonna get these inside. I don't know. Alright, last thing. This is from That's your last bit? No, no, I still have that too. Did you want to show yours? You kind of did. I have so many. Yeah. Anyway, so this is, I have one skin of this. This is the Chickadee uh, Hand Eye. It's so pretty. Exclusive. This is, I don't, it's the green one. It's really pretty. It has like bronze throughout and yeah, it's, it's so pretty. And I really like it. Okay, so it's like that. Yeah, you yeah. can see like the bronze up in there. It looks really good. Mm hmm And I was good yesterday. I was a good person. I did not spend a lot. I have a lot. You. Yes. But I needed. Yes. Because you don't know if we're going to make it in time to get it again. Um, so yesterday when we went out, I got Knit Picks Sunstruck Wood Needles. Uh, interchangeable with an interchangeable cable. But so I wanted to try, try it. Because I, cause I use bamboo needles. I don't enjoy myself because first off, they, I put dings in the needles. What do you mean? Like, if you look at my bamboo needles, they have dings. What did you do? Like, I am a, apparently a hard knitter. I'm a hard knitter. Like, you can always hear me when I'm knitting. Yeah, I can. You can always oh, hear Oh, you put dents in them. Yeah, dings. <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to try the wood ones from Knit Picks because it's a hardwood. And bamboo is supposed to be a, a hard... No. It's, it's a soft wood. It's pretty porous. It's pretty porous. And, like, everyone's like, oh, but bamboo is so sturdy. It's sturdy and it's, it's flexible. It's sturdy and flexible, but it's not hard. And I needed something that I'm not going to put. We're going to try it. Holes in. I feel bad about they're it. They're not holes. They're dings. <laughs> and I got two skeins of this. They're really pretty. Swan's Island. I know. Where's a heart? <sighs> it's their eye cap. Swan's Island fingering. 
and this is the eye cat which has been indigo dyed so i'm super excited to use it i it's 552 yards so i got two of these so i have 1050 yards is this a sport weight or a fingering this is a fingering so oh, okay. I'm hoping I'm gonna get lucky during yarn crawl and be able to get, snag one more skein because I'm gonna cast on for a sweater, I think. You could still do a sweater with two. Yeah. It's just a shorter sweater. You yeah. could do a crop sweater, that'd be kind of cool. I might do the sweater in uh, Pam Allen's home because she has a garter stitch top down sweater. I just need to see what the thing is, but I think that would look pretty. Is it in Chickadee? No, no, it's in. Um, Piper. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah. And Piper, I feel like, is more of a fingering weight than a lace weight, so I just need to look at the yarn requirements, and I think I just need one more skin. I was bad. I was really bad. Yes, you were. I was look I'm looking at my pile, and it looks little. But Camilla did it. I was good. And then I was like, oh, I can pile the yarn. No, oh, it's fine. And I was planning on going to stitches until last week on, like, Monday-ish. I was well, looking not, at the weather forecast. Not Monday. It was like Thursday. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. very last minute. It was last minute. That we minute. changed our minds and replanned our whole weekend. Yeah. So, uh, when I got back last week, no, when we got back from podcasting, our last episode, Alicia dropped me off, uh, and we got the mail together because Alicia wanted to come say hi to Ma. So we nah. got the mail, and all of my packages had arrived. <laughs> I forgot about that. I had to put it. They, usually, they can put like my packages into my actual mail slot. No, they had to put them all in the package slot. Let me show you what I got. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about them. I know you did, so I brought them. I signed us up for the Cat's Kettle Halloween Club. This is our second installment. I'm in love. Okay. It's as pretty as the first, but so much more. It's so different. That was the first one we didn't have any context. We didn't, we hadn't watched um, Hocus Pocus before. Yeah, so when we first got, we were like, who are the Sandersons again? And then we're I found the out it was... Sanderson's sisters? And then we watched Hocus Pocus and we're all like, like Sanderson's sisters. They're hilarious. So, this one, I have context for. It's based off of a hollow... The Nightmare Before Christmas. Not Halloween Town, Nightmare Before Christmas. This is Making Christmas, and this is Pumpkin, Pumpkin King. King. They're really cute. Okay. And beautiful and so soft. This is in her matte sock base, so it's one of my favorite bases. Like, it's, it's a good, good base. It's a real good base. So do you and have actual figure. socks with yours? Probably not. I don't mix. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Probably a hat. I'm probably making a hat with mine. You're going to make a hat? Well... Solidarity, Noah. Anyway. Um, and then I also received my package from the wonderful Julie. I love Julie. Because I saw that she was having an update one day and I was just like, oh, I'll just look, see what she has. No plan to buy anything. No plan to buy anything. Just, you know, see what was going on. I've been eyeing this skein, but she didn't have it. Her nut hatch base was one of my, which is one of my favorites of hers. So when I saw it, no chill. No chill. This is Miss Honey. And it knits up in kind of a striping pattern, I want to say. It's so pretty. Julie does a phenomenal job. Like, look at the peach and then the honey color, and it's perfect, and I love it, and I need it. And I bought it. And now you have it. And now I have it. And then I was just like, oh, let me look at the other colorway she has. No chill. I'm a mouse. It's gray and peach. And Michael. I love a gold Selena. I can't resist a gold Selena. And then I bought a skein for a spoiled child that sits next to me every week. Hmm? Spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. I'm not spoiled. Did you tell that to Mab? What would she say? She'd be like, don't lie to yourself. She'd be like, oh yeah, you are, you are spoiled. 
You just buy everything that you want. <laughs> <laughs> Not spoiled at all. Mom's very facetious. So I bought Alicia tea and cake. And a gold Selena. And I bought, and then I was just like, okay, I'm done buying yarn because oh, I still thought I was gonna go to stitches. And you didn't go to stitches. We didn't go to stitches, so I was just like, well, I had had a little budget set aside, so I bought yarn yesterday. Not a little bit of yarn. We still got yarn crawl coming up. I bought a little bit of yarn. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I got two of these. This is Malabrigo Rios in the Jupiter colorway. It's so like whiny and delicious. Delicious. Got that. I got two of those. And then we went to Ply in Wimberley. Wimberley. Where was this? This was New Braunfels. This is New Braunfels. That was Lucky, so you, lucky New Braunfels. you and New Braunfels. That shop, she is wonderful. We talked wheels with her yeah, because we're thinking. Like, and she's a spinner. And spinning. And she's all like, ooh, girl. Let me because talk. Alicia was eyeing fiber. Because it was so pretty. And we'd seen Michelle Wong's wheel, okay. which is that electric hot pink thing. My life. And Alicia was like, oh, that's cool. So we were talking to the shop lady about it. And she said, don't buy one now. Wait for a couple of weeks. Then there's a, what's it? A show's coming up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go probably then. And look at the wheels. And look so. at the wheels. Anyway, so we went to play. I needed optic. I've been eyeing optic. I've been wanting it so badly. So I bought it in DK. But I couldn't have just one. So she bought what? Four? Four. I bought four. You gonna make the props for her? I don't know. Oh, that's a good idea. You can make the Verity with me. This is a DK. You can rejigger. I hate doing the math. Anyway. The Woolwich has a wonderful... Uh, does she? Yes, she does. Oh, There's like it. a wonderful blog post. And then we went love her. to one of my favorite stores, which is Save Your Sheep. We spent a good hour and a half there. It was our last stop. It was. They're so nice. I love them. They're so nice. The owner is a forensic pathologist? So, I think so. By uh, trade? Think of, no, psychologist, not pathologist. Oh, okay. Psychologist. She's real cool. It's always like so mellow in there and just so like a, clean, but still like it smells good. It smells good. They have like all these cubbies to sit and knit in, and I kind of pass that on the couch a little bit. With oh, I forgot. So I passed out on the not passed out, but I like sat on the couch with this bad boy because I saw it and I loved it and I needed it, so I bought it. And I bought this, and she bought that. Because that like, was a really good issue. This was a good issue, and I had been eyeing it since it came out, but I don't like to buy things. Without, like, like, I don't holding. like to, like, I don't like to, well, it's not that. Like, I can buy things without holding it, but like, I don't like to buy, like, pattern books or quarterlies like this without, like, really thinking about it. Because, mm -hmm. like, I have to, like, figure out, like, am I really going to wear the patterns? What yarns would I knit these things Like, in? the articles are really good, but... The articles are really good, but I like to have at least three patterns picked mm -hmm. out that I would actually wear and knit and I like to have the yarn picked out as well. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, because like they're not cheap. They're not super expensive, but they're not cheap. Yeah. And you want to make sure you're actually going to use it. And I want to make sure I'm actually going to use it. And then it's so the whole decision of if I buy it, if I buy like the actual physical copy or if I get the ebook. Mm -hmm. And some of them now come with the e-code so you can have it downloaded, but I don't know if this one does. I don't know if this one does anymore either. The previous oh, one. Oh, yeah, it does. does. Oh, yeah. it's in the front. It does. It's in the front. Oh, it is. They're both in the front of the book that you buy. Yes, but please purchase them because they're great publications. They're wonderful publications, and I like to support them, but like... Again, if you're not going to use all the patterns. If you're not going to use all the patterns. I think you can buy these separately, but I'm not 100% sure. What do you mean? I think you can buy the pattern separate. I think you can with those. I think you these can. you have to buy the ebook. You have to buy like the, the actual. It, it's like the whole ebook. Yeah. So I like it's to buy the paper publication, and if it comes with a code, I'm uber happy. Yeah, because I like to look at things and like 
I like I like to, the PDF because I like to make notes on the side and I don't like to do that in books. Yeah, but I like the book to like flip through. I, love, I don't like to flip through things on my phone. Yeah, it's not as fun. I love paper. So unless you're, you know, reading to me. Completely ego. Yeah. Anyway, so also at Sata Sheep, I got these because look. At what happy fluffy babies these are. They look like they're like a little chunk of monkey. This is this is Rowan Cocoon in the charcoal and the light gray. They don't actually have color names. They probably do online. They probably do online. This is, uh, I think it's color 00802. 00805. So this is like a charcoal. This is, um, Yeah, it's like a bulky. It's 80 wool, 20 mohair. I'm generally not a mohair girl. You don't have to be a mohair girl. But I like it. And it's just so plush and I'm thinking hats. I'm oh, no, don't put your mouth oh, okay. I was like, don't put your mouth on that. <laughs> I was worried she's actually eating, like putting her mouth on it because she's done that. You did it. Yep. Okay. No more for you. <laughs> anyway, it's so. But they're so pretty, and I love them, and I think they're going to be hats, and then contrasting pom-poms. Another good idea, if you want to make like a pillow, mm. make like a log cabin pillow, get like the medium, it's like a medium gray color as well. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. It smells so good. Their store smells fantastic. They you have like, like aromatherapy in there. And, it's and they just, have like all the cool stuff. And wine. You can get wine or coffee. That's going to be my last stop on, the la on day, day one. Day one of Yarn Crawl. I, I just need... I will crawl without you. I know you will. Okay. I'll take Alicia with me. Yeah. So I'll just come for the other ones and I'll, we'll hit the other ones that I don't get to go to on the second weekend. Anyway, go to their store. Follow them on Instagram. Follow them on Facebook because sometimes they have flash sales. The Sada Cheap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a great place. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful people. Great guest. And all the places. And there's nice. It's so cozy. It's so nice. And dripping springs, which is like 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes from where we are. 20 or 30 minutes from my house. So it's not far. It's a nice kind of scenic drive. Yeah, if you drive a little further uh, north, you can 20 hit 20 north, you'll hit Wimberley. No, no, no. That's oh. south. South. Wimberley is south. Whew. I don't know why I said north. And yeah, they, I'm talking about the Nutty Brown Cafe. Oh, yeah, Nutty Brown's there, too. And they have a lot of music like shows. It's a venue. It's really nice. And they have good food. They have mm -hmm. good burgers. Mm -hmm. Good burgers. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But that's our, that's that's our, our acquisition. acquisition. Yeah. We're at, what, an hour and two? Two. So we still have... We had a lot of stuff. I know, we did so much. These are so, so nice. But we're done with all the knitting. We're done with the knitting. Well, no, we're never done with the knitting. Oh, no. But we have our dyer's corner, and then we have our podcaster's corner, and then we have our book. I don't have a book this week. I, I do. She's mad. I'm not mad. It, was, it went well. I'm mad at, like, the book that I'm currently reading, because I'm still working through it. And It's for book club. I haven't started it. Yeah, our book for book club is the thing I'm working through right now. I'm just like... I bought the audio book. We don't need to talk about that one, though. Okay. We talked about it last week. Yeah, we did. So, anyway, we'll skip the book. We'll skip the book this week. Anyway, so our Dyer's Corner is Camilla Fiber Company. Great company. It's a great company. They're fantastic. It's all hand dye. She does do updates. She, from what I understand, has, like, a line, like a color line every Every season. season. So right now she's working on her fall line and it's like I have a hard time getting the yarn because first off I'm not that quick of a uh, person like online anyway like I have I'm just like I have to look and peruse and like weigh my pros and cons and stuff like that uh so yeah but she does a beautiful job gorgeous like like obviously, like I like follow her on Instagram. We followed her for a really long time. Yeah, and she just does beautiful work, and she has an actual store. Her palette speaks to my soul. Yeah. My so yard. this is the ones that we showed you were from her summer palette. 
Yes. If I'm her summer palette, she's right now working on fall. It's beautiful. I I've, haven't seen I haven't it. seen fall. I'm talking about this one. Like all summer, of her colors are always beautiful. Yeah, they're all beautiful. And it's all hand dyed, all I wanna say it's all ethically sourced. We're not hundred percent sure. Not hundred percent sure, so don't quote me. Um but it's local it's it's, it's a local thing. It's beautiful. Nashville, Tennessee, so it's like a couple hours away. But not that they're far. neighbors. <laughs> they're neighbors, kind of. <laughs> but yeah. And they do do wholesale. They have a wholesaler's they list. They have a wholesaler's list as well as they sell they sell from the website. Yeah. And she also has other things as well. Like she does. She's beautiful linen dresses. Like their store is great. Their store is great. I wanna go there. Yeah. And hang out. I wanna go. But it's far. It Tennessee's a bit for a yarn. It's a bit it's a drive. bit for a yarn drive. But anyway, yes. This is a beautiful yarn. The rest of the colors are in the acquisition. We only we walked away with the majority of her summer color palette. We didn't get one color. No, you we didn't. didn't get the we didn't get the the solid the solid blue or the tonal blue, which is beautiful as well. But we yeah, were it's more of a more medium blue. But we were the... more drawn like wash to colors. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but those are beautiful. And yeah, so check her out. Check out. Oh, sale. No, no, I didn't change numbers. I don't know. Anyway, so on to. Podcaster's Corner. Yeah. So our podcaster today, that was a weird voice, our podcaster today is the podcast Charlotte and Gus. They're adorable. They're so cute. It's a, Charlotte, you can find her at B Charlie, B-E-E, Charlie without an E at the end, on Instagram, mm -hmm. as well as on Ravelry. Mm -hmm. And it's her and her cat, Gus. It's an orange He's a tabby cat. He's so cute. Oh my god. She has him in like a little box and like every time like she introduces herself she's like, oh here's Gus. And it's like, he's in a box. It's a cat in a box. It's so cute. He's so happy. She anyway. She wishes Ugo would want to sit in a box quietly. I wish quietly. Ugo would sit in a box quietly. He'll sit in your lap quietly. Yeah, he will. I wish he would sit in a box though. Anyway. But anyway, it's a beautiful... She's a beautiful knitter. She has such great color palette. She has such a good color palette. She's very... <sighs> what does that mean? Everything. Yeah. <laughs> she, like, from what I can tell, she, like, has, she has a very good aesthetic. She does. It's very clean. It's very clean. Like, her, like, her actual apartment looks very clean and tidy. And, like, you see, like, in the corner of her yarn. I'm just like, mm, mm -hmm. yarn. Yeah. She has a good color sense. Ugh. She's so funny too. She's a beautiful dyer. She is a beautiful dyer. I so, would love to get my hands on something. Yeah, on she's it. A, she designs. She has two shawls out, and she just finished a sweater. That's she's but she's writing the pattern up, and I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want to be in that test group for that sweater. You gonna knit fast enough? If I have a month and I have a deadline, I can go. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal. That doesn't mean they have equal speed. <laughs> You're talking about drugs now? <laughs> is cracking cocaine the same thing? <laughs> Did you just think about this? No, it was a quote from... It's a quote where it's... it's from where? From Raven Boys. No, it's... No, it's all like... Is crack and speed the same thing? <laughs> I thought... I don't know. Anyway. I was like, wait, wait. Is speed different? Is it? We need to look this up. Maybe we shouldn't look this up. <laughs> I was like, are they the same? But anyway, but yeah, she's a beautiful knitter. She's a beautiful, beautiful designer. Beautiful podcast. Beautiful podcast. She's so pretty. She's just, <laughs> she's just like a quiet human. Yeah. I want to hang out. Oh, come visit so us fun. in Austin and we'll, we'll reciprocate and come visit. Oh, that's a long flight. They're both long flights. Both really long flights. I still want to go. I also want to go to Arizona, but it's hot. I can't be warm. I'm just like, Rafa, when is does it, it get cold? cold again? And don't you dare say at night. At night. It's a desert. It's so hot there. Come to Austin. Come to Austin. We'll show you Torchy's tacos, and we'll eat all the tacos. We'll, we'll teach you about breakfast tacos. 
Because they know about breakfast tacos. Do they? Because yes. apparently it was a Texas In thing. Arizona? I don't know. It's hot there. Of course they have breakfast tacos. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if you're wrong. <laughs> if you don't have breakfast tacos, Rafa, you're going to make a bank on that. You're doing You're monocling it anyway, so. Yes. She's Watch great. Watch it. She's adorable. And if, she has a beautiful cat. I'm pretty and a sure. box. That's what's driving me up the wall right now, this cat in this box. You're doing good. Oh, uh, yeah. She wants a cat, but she got Ubo instead. And I'm allergic. <laughs> but anyway. But yes. And she has beautiful shawl patterns, and I really want them. It makes me want to brioche. Because I do not have any desire to brioche. I do. Like, I no love desire. Like, the Marley shawl from Andrea Maori kind of, like, I was like, You're like, mm, tempted. Mm, tempted. Mm. But no. The Chances wrap from Charlotte. You're like, I'll do it. I was like, I'll do it I for you. four colors. I could do that. I can learn. I feel like it'd be worth it. And I'm just like, mm. but then again, it's like, I don't want to. Like, I'm like, I'm a lazy knitter. Like, if, yes. like if there's a stitch Shoes. pattern that involves a pearl, I'm just like, mm, better not. <laughs> But I will do stock in that in the round. I just hate curling, and I don't want to pearl in my free time. I think that's our show today. Yeah, cause we're not doing a book. I did finish Grendel, by the way. You finished it like five million times. Yeah, this is like it's my, not new. <laughs> this is my third time finishing Grendel, in as many years. It's a great, great book. I haven't read it. Chapter twelve, bay. Chapter twelve is bad. I was trying to, I was trying to, like, to explain it to my AP lit class, and they're all like, I don't get it. And then like the next time we met, two kids were like, we understand it now. And I was like, really? They're like, yeah. We talked about it outside of class, and they're all like, and we talked about what you said. And I was like, really? First off, they talked about a book outside of class, so like right. my job is already like done, halfway done. And they're like, and then we like went back through the book and found evidence to support what we thought you were like, what we thought you were trying to on. get at. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. And then I was like, high five. And we high fived and we were cheering because like they actually explained their theory to me. And I was like, that, that's right. That's good. <laughs> and then they talked to class and they're like, that's like the best thing you can have them do. Right. And then everyone's mind was just like. What is life? It's great. Your life is a lie. I love how they doubt everything now. They're like, so what is the purpose of life? Oh, doubting life? Thomas. So they're like, so what is life's purpose? And I was like, what is life's purpose? And I hate like, you and your questions are about questions. <sighs> it's great. I love it. This kid will call <sighs> me and say, look at this. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else. Read this. <laughs> Nothing else. I don't okay. try and guide me or anything. I'm a very concrete human. You are. But anyway. But even mom was just like, I don't know what she's trying to say. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're so abstract. And I'm like, I'm really not. I just tell you to look at things. She doesn't try and explain anything. That's, not, that's really not what my job is about, though. That's great. I'm, I'm glad not supposed job. to explain things. If I explain things to you, my you job is about explaining things. things. Yeah, if I explain things to kids, they end up just copying exactly what I say. Mm. That's not what I want. I have independent thoughts, though. Yeah, I know. That's why I give you the benefit of the doubt and say, read this. I don't know what you're wanting me to look for. <laughs> <laughs> All you say is read this. I read it. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I know. There are times where I'm just like, does she want me to think abstractly about this? I don't understand. Or concretely. She handed me a list and said, read it. And I'm just like, it's a list. That's like, yeah. I was trying. Help to, me understand. I have a hard time communicating concretely, apparently. You don't know how. No, I think I do. I get most of my... She thinks she does, but I she get most know. of what I... Like, okay, so I make calendars. We're getting into a tangent. We oh, need yeah. to We need to let these people go. Yeah. We... Oh, we didn't get to talk. We'll do it last, next time. We're not gonna. Next time, you aren't crying. I was like, mm. we might film next week to kind of have like if we film next week, that means we have less to show. And we can talk more about things. We'll think about it. We'll let you know. 
I don't think we're gonna be filming this. We probably won't. So we might, okay, so ne the next time we film it will be Yarn Crawl. So what might happen is we'll have our phones, like we always do, because we're from the 21st century, and we'll film snippets of a crawl. Of our crawl. Kay. And we'll have conversation. And we'll have, yeah, don't. Anyway, yeah. we didn't, oh, before we go, I wanted to speak briefly to Della. Hi, girl. Um, show notes are on their way. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Okay, yeah, <laughs> we keep saying like we're gonna have show notes, and then we never do it. And then people are like, where, where can I show? find your show? Someone notes? left a comment. Where can I find your show notes? Oh, we have a rebel group. More's coming. Promise. More's coming. So we're trying to retro. Yeah, and I am trying to get in there every Wednesday to answer your guys' questions, say hi, that kind of deal. So if you're in there and you haven't received an answer immediately, Wednesday. It's our best for me. I don't know why. But anyway, Just for another week. oh, and next time, Della, we will talk about podcasts. Because Della oh, was like, like group pod, like, like partner podcast, partner podcast, basically. She wanted to know more about sister podcasts. There are some out there. Um, I wanted to kind of compile a group, like I'm a sure kind of a less count. Yes. So I'm going to do like a snapshot of some of them and um, get that on over to you guys. So, yeah. So that is actually going to be our show today. Thanks for watching. If you made and it this liking far. Liking and subscribing and commenting and doing all the things. Sorry it was a little lengthy. It was a little lengthy. We, we had a lot, lot of stuff. To show. Now I gotta work on that shawl. At least I don't have to grade right now. That's true. Anyway, but yeah guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and doing all the things. And this is supposed and to be. And Rafa and Noah. Rafa, stop picking on Noah for his hair. Leave cream. his head alone. He's I adorable. like it. You're so cute. Rafa, you're adorable. You're thank cute. you about that glow. Aw, boo. So good. Anyway, do we have a thing coming up on episode? We need to have a hashtag. Make save up. the Noahs. Save, save the Noahs. I don't know. I don't know. I need a hashtag. Save the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was like, why did I call you an eagle? Oh, a bald eagle. <laughs> ah, you're not bald. No, you've got your hair. Got here. Solidarity, man. I'll be shaving my head after stuff. Save the buzz cuts. Save the buzz cuts. Buzz cuts season. It's winter. Well, it's fall. What are you talking about? It's First day of fall degrees pass. outside. Anyway, guys, we're gonna go. And it's humid as all get out. It's like you go out and you're moisturized. You're like damp everywhere. You're so damp. Oh. Anyway, thank y'all. We'll Maybe see you next tea. time. Yeah. Say goodbye to nice people. Goodbye, nice people. What am I doing with this dinosaur? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>